Okay, so con- let's continue pala. Now, let's continue our discussion. So, naputol tayo in uh, plexography printing. Okay, so let's continue our discussion. Mm, yan. Okay. Okay, yeah, so after the, the plexography printing, Okay, the next printing method is ito yung tinatawag natin na offset lithography printing. Okay? So, um, wait lang. Yan. Yan. Okay? So, itong offset uh, lithography printing no, or litho na tinatawag okay, is uh, a widely used printing technique where the ink image is transferred or offset now from a plate to a rubber blanket then to the printing surface okay and if it um etong um, dito sa, sa offset lithography na ito no it uses a technique that employs no a flat image carrier no, in which the image to be printed no obtain uh, ink from the the ink rollers Okay, while the, the non-printing area, no, it, tra- it attracts a film no, of water, keeping the non-printing areas um, ink-free. Okay, then I know it, it's very hard no, to imagine no, how this offset uh, lithography works. Okay, if hindi natin siya makikita. Okay, hindi na, if hindi natin nakikita how it actually works. Okay, now, so to give us uh, the, the idea or the details about how this printing method works, Okay, so let's watch this video.
Okay. So yeah, that's how the the offset, no, lithography printing works. No, almost uh, the same lang siya with with the pixography printing. No, the only difference uh, or yung pinagkaiba ng offset lithography sa pixography is uh, sa sa offset uh, lithography is gumagamit tayo ng printing plate no, which is made from um, from aluminum film no, na kung saan doon printed yung uh, yung image no, or the design that we wanted to print no, on the paper no then ginagamitan siya ng uh, no, ng paint no, kung saan uh, yung yung paint no or the the pattern of the the image that we wanted to print is mata transfer doon sa rubber uh, rubber plate no and doon sa rubber plate uh, doon naman siya ngayon didikit doon sa no sa last plate na kung saan nandoon uh, naka, naka, naka nakalagay no yung yung paper no that we wanted na gusto nating pagprintan okay so that's how the offset lithography printing works okay so based from the no the video that we had watched no this offset printing or litho printing no, is a very uh, popular method no, of mass production printing okay um, it involves running plates no usually made up from aluminum uh, with with which each hold no an image of the content that needs to be printed okay itong uh, once again itong plates na ito no are then transferred or offset into the rollers or yung rubber blankets or rubber plates before going into the print media now, which is it can be <clears throat> can be any type of paper no, that you want. Okay? Then itong print media na ito, no, let's say for example, the paper, okay, doesn't come into contact with the metal plates. Okay? Dun lang, uh, dun lang sa nasa gitna ng roller or yung, yung rubber blankets na tinatawag. Okay? Since, uh, since it, yung, yung rubber blankets are, are a flexible material no, of the rollers, no, it means that offset lithography can be used in any media no with rough surface okay and itong offset uh, lithography na ito no, it is a great uh, it is great at producing consistently high quality images no, and can be used for um, smaller high volume print jobs okay now it is also uh, a versatile choice as it can print on on any flat surface no regardless of whether it's smooth like paper no, or rough like canvas okay so that's the the offset no lithography printing okay for the next one um okay, okay. yeah so the next printing method no, is ito yung tinatawag natin na transfer Sorry, transfer printing. Now, it is used when an image has to be applied on a curve or an even surface. Yeah. Okay. So, itong, itong, itong transfer printing naman ito, no, based from the, the name itself. Okay. It is done. Uh, it is done na, na kung saan ita uh, tina transfer yung yung designs okay kaya nga siya tinawag na transfer printing okay this transfer printing no as for designs to have a full digital image uh, images no with vector and high uh, resolution uh, high resolution bitmap designs or bitmap images no which can be applied on an array of products okay so once again mahirap ma imagine if we we don't actually see how it works okay so to give us more ideas how this transfer printing is done okay let us watch this video okay so more on video watching tayo ngayon kasi mahirap imaginein no, on how this printing methods work no um okay so i'll show you no, one of the the examples of of transfer printing wood-based products. We're using our versatile green A paper, printing on the glossy side up. I'm going to go ahead and put it straight to the A3 UP850 WT printer.
and see how quick it prints, guys. All right, doing a parrot with the U-print logo on there. Let's come across to the print, uh, press. All right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the press to fuse the graphics to the page. Guys, I'm preheating the, the heat press, uh, using the heat of the base to fuse the graphic to the page. You can use a heat gun for this process, but I like to just use one instrument uh, so I don't divert from what I'm doing. Okay, once it's nice and heated, I place the graphic down on the base. You'll start to see it change to colors. Um, but just to speed it up, I'm just going to close the press just before it touches the graphic. The, I'm using the, the heat of the plates to also fuse the graphic on top, which just doubles the fusing time. Once I've fused it, I then take my piece of wood, place it down, my wood on the table. 100% white under base. This is, uh, the graphic is at 100% under, white under base uh, we use for this. You need as much tone as you can to transfer onto your wood based products. You can just put this together like that or you can use sublimation tape guys, either way is fine. Once I'm, no, I'm ready. And I can go ahead and press it. 162 degrees, 55 seconds. Okay, after finish, take your rubber mat off nice and quickly. Take your wet cloth, remember to have water in your cloth, and immediately start applying the, the water to the product. Until you see the whole graphic, guys, don't peel, as we'll, you will have problems. Right, I can see the whole parrot and then and you print. I'm gonna go ahead and peel that. It's a nice perfect peel guys. Mm -hmm. See how vibrant the colours are. And that is a perfect print onto the wood. I'm gonna do another short for you quickly with using sublimation tape. Right, guys, I'm doing a second video on using sublimation tape. Just going across like that just to keep it in the right spot. Um, after that, you're going to take your rubber second press mat and place it over the graphic. You're now confident to know that it's not going to move while you're placing your mat over. And you're going to press for 55 seconds. Okay. Okay, take your mat off. I'm going to use water to release this, dipping my cloth in there. I do a nice round cloth like this, guys, to make it a lot faster. Get every okay. spot on there. Too Once I'm patient. confident that it's completely wet everywhere, I can then go ahead and peel immediately. Give you a nice finish. Okay, now so that's how no, the, the transfer printing is done. Okay, so based from the video no, that we have watched, no, this is just one example of the, the transfer printing, no, which is the image is printed no, dun sa tinatawag na, na transfer paper. No, the transfer paper with the designs no, is then placed in a press no, at a high temperature no, and pressed together under uh, in a high pressure and resulting the, the transfer of the design on the, the print media. Okay, so that's the, the transfer printing. Okay, so the next method, printing method is, okay, the LED LED UV printing. Okay, so LED UV printing method no, uses ultraviolet uh, lights to dry or cure ink on the print media surface. Okay, it is often used for newsletters, posters, leaflets, magazines, catalogs, and brochure. Okay, so itong, itong uh, LED UV printing method, no, this is uh, becoming increasingly popular no, among businesses due to its um, extremely high quality prints no, and uh, quick turnaround times. Okay, so this is a form of, of uh, this is actually a form no, of digital printing that uses um, UV or ultraviolet lights 
okay, to dry the ink as it is being printed. Okay, so the drying process, also known as UV curing, no, it is a unique uh, and uh, sets it apart from the other printing methods. Okay, because it is instantaneous, no, and it prevents the ink from uh, from sinking, no, into the materials. Okay, so itong klase ng printing na ito, no, it is eco-friendly as it uses uh, less power no, than the traditional print machines, okay? unlike many of the other methods. Okay? It's not limited to the type of printing materials. Okay? And, and itong uh, printing method na ito you know, is ideal for um, a wide range of projects, you know, including yung mga brochures, catalogs, you know, and posters. Okay? Because of its ability you know, to instantly dry ink you know, and produce bright, uh, vivid colors, Okay, it can turn an ordinary product into a luxury no, or high quality product uh, that is attention grabbing. Okay, so let us watch the video to give us more ideas on how the LED UV printing works. UV printing is a form of digital printing that uses ultraviolet light to dry or cure ink as it is printed. As the printer distributes ink on the surface of a material, specially designed UV lights follow close behind, curing or drying the ink instantly. There are different ways to generate UV light and we are using the latest LED UV lights that are durable and have low energy consumption. And because the UV lights cure the ink immediately, the dots of wet ink do not get a chance to spread out once printed, resulting in much finer detail. In addition, UV cured inks are weather resistant and offer increased resistance to fading. For single print head printers, by default, only one LED UV lamp is installed to lower the machine's price. And with this one lamp, the ink is cured once with one print cycle. And the results are phenomenal. Take a look at this. But of course, we do have the option of installing the second LED UV light, which will increase the quality slightly. The choice is yours. In 2020, we celebrate eight years in business. Okay, uh, so that's how the, the LED, no, UV printing works. Okay, so no, as we proceed, no, with, with, uh, with the printing methods, no, mas sabi natin na uh, pa-high-tech ng pa-high-tech, no, yung, yung mga printing methods. Okay, now, and for the, the next, no, printing method, no, na, na ipapakita ko sa inyo, no, i-discuss natin, no, it is, uh, ito yung masasabi natin na pinaka-high-tech. Okay, so, uh, the next, Printing method, okay, is the 3D printing, okay. So the last but not the least methods of printing you know, that I will discuss with you, okay. Although there are a lot of existing methods, okay, itong 3D printing, okay, is it is often used for promotion and marketing freebies, novelty items, display items, or toy figurines, okay. 3D printing no, or tinatawag na additive manufacturing no, is the construction of a 3D or three-dimensional object uh, from a CAD model or a digital 3D model. Okay? So, um, pakita ko muna sa inyo on how uh, this 3D printing works by watching this video. Already 
the way we produce objects, from tools and toys to clothing and even body parts. 3D printing is part of a process known as additive manufacturing, where an object is created by adding material layer by layer. Additive manufacturing allows designers to create complex parts for machines, airplanes, and cars at a fraction of the cost and time of standard means like forging, molding, and sculpting. Now, smaller, consumer-friendly 3D printers are bringing additive manufacturing to homes and businesses. The first step in 3D printing is to create a blueprint of the object you want to print. You can use modeling software like Blender to create your own designs, or you can visit websites like Thingiverse or Shapeways to find objects other users have 3D modeled. Once you have a finished design, it's time to send it to the printer. Some printers, like the MakerBot Replicator 2, have renewable bioplastics spooled in the back of the device, almost like a string. When the printer receives the data, it pulls the material through a tube, melts it, and deposits it to the plate where it instantly cools. As you can see, the 3D object is created through layering, where the printer will add one layer of the object at a time until you have a fully formed structure. The most common material used in 3D printing is plastic, but the use of some other materials allow for the creation of some pretty amazing products beyond simple tools and toys. 3D printing food is becoming very popular, and additive manufacturing has allowed for the creation of some pretty intricate treats. In the medical world, doctors are testing biomaterials for regenerative medicine. By using a patient's cells, doctors could 3D print small body parts like ears and noses. Some surgeons have even tested 3D printed organs for transplants. Recently, giant 3D printers in China printed 10 houses in just one day and at a cost of less than $5,000 per house, proving just how cost and time efficient 3D printing can be. For more on 3D printing, check out Mashable's latest coverage. And don't watch the other videos in our Mashable Explain series. <clears throat> okay, now so that's how the, the 3D printing works. Okay, uh, itong, itong 3D printing na ito, um, no, it, it has allowed no, us to print uh, three-dimensional objects no, which can be a, a great way no, to make an impact. No, na talagang we can say that inventions and innovations are really everywhere right now. Okay, no, kung saan the desired objects of various shapes and uh, sizes no, are created no, using the, the digital model from uh, 3D models or electronic sources no, such as an additive uh, manufacturing uh, file no, or the AMF na tinatawag no, and additive compound mixtures no, are then fused together no, to produce the, the 3D object no, that you wanted to, to print. Okay? So nakita natin from the video that using the, the large uh, 3D printers, no, nakapag-print sila ng sampung bahay. Imaginein mo yung, yung bahay ngayon is kaya na palang i-print no, sampung bahay in just one day. Okay? But uh, it cost, it will cost a lot okay so yun. so so far no those are some of the the methods of printing okay used by businesses no for them to produce the, the print media that they need okay so that's our discussion for today now giving you the the different uh, printing methods okay um, actually there are a lot no marami pang iba't ibang klase ng, ng ng printing methods no what i just showed you no are the the seven most common uh, printing methods na naginagamit no ng mga businesses for their businesses of course for their operations okay um, do you have any uh, questions no, about uh, the, the 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 topic no that we discussed for today <clears throat> sorry may sipon ako Naririnig nyo naman ng maayos yung explanation ko, no? <clears throat>